Hey guys, Lamasol back with another video. So today we're going to actually be looking at some economy plugins. So there's only two that we currently use on the server. We use the Essentials plugin, which I will actually be using for the Signs function of it and the base economy. And we're also going to be using Chess Shops. So this is actually what the players use. I found it to work a lot, lot better than just straight up Essentials or I would just use that alone. And if you want to go ahead and make a world for your shops and such, I highly recommend also adding a plots plugin, which I'll roughly talk about. I'm not going to go into full detail on that because that's just an extra if you really just want to. So this is going to be a tutorial if you already have a server set up. If you don't have a bucket, paper, or spigot server already set up, I highly recommend going, looking up a video. Make sure you already have all that set up. If you don't, go ahead and stop this video. Go get the server set up. I am not going to be doing anything in this video or any future videos on how to set up that server because there's so many videos out there already. I don't feel the need to constantly just repeat it. So we're going to go ahead and start talking about installing these two plugins. So installing plugins has been made really, really easy over the past couple years. We use paper for lamination. However, you should be able to use either bucket or spigot if the versions are available. Check to make sure what's available first before going past this step. Make sure that your bucket version is available. Make sure that the spigot version or the paper version, we use paper so I know that works, but just double check. So what you want to do is you'll want to go to the specific website for the plugin. So I'll drop the links down below. Just go ahead and download the .jar for both of them and then put them into your plugins folder. It's that easy. Then restart your server. So the next thing that we're going to look at is actually going to be permissions and config settings. I'm not going to go deep into the permissions or anything. I'm just going to show you what I use for our server because what you might use is different. But if you want to use just the economy stuff, just throw in what we have right here and the economy should work just fine. And if you have any questions, just ask down below in the comments. I can answer and help with anything I can. So the next step is going to be in Minecraft. So this is going to be really easy. There's only three signs you need. Two are going to be made by the admins and the owners. And the other one is going to be for the players to use. So for the admins, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to make the buy and the sell signs. So these are really easy. You're just going to put brackets on the top with either buy or sell in them. The next line is going to be the amount followed by the item. And then the last line is going to be how much for the buy or the sell. So you want to make sure that you kind of do a little bit of guesswork to make these pretty even for how you want your economy set up. Because these are going to be like the outside bounds of whatever your economy is going to be. So the next part is going to be what your players do. So this is going to be their trading sign, basically. You can either buy, sell, or buy and sell from the same sign. So on the second line, you're going to put the amount that you're going to be buying or selling. The third line is going to be your buy and sell line. So you're going to do buy the amount or sell the amount. So if you want to buy and sell, you're going to do B space the amount space semicolon space, the amount, and then S. So that's going to set you up for buy and, buying and selling. So the last line, you can either put the item that you want to do, or I prefer to put the item in there and then just do a question mark. It'll autofill. This is really good for like enchanted gear and such because they have their own data tags and everything. So I recommend just using question mark all the time. That's personally what I do. You don't have to though. So that's really all I have to say about these two plugins. I would probably put this as one of the easiest ways to do an economy you can also do just essentials itself which is even easier but i found that the signs just don't work as well you can't use any kind of enchanted items or such so chess shops combined with this is honestly the best of both worlds it's going to take a lot of time for you to really tune it and such but it's worth it in the end your players are going to love the economy and everything i know mine do they have been racking up the money they've been making their shops and they have been loving it so guys, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and drop a like. It means a ton. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Along with, I'm also streaming on Twitch. So if you have any more in-depth questions I might be able to help with, I do stream there Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 5.30 CST. So if you ever want to come and hang out or gain access to the server yourself. But overall, this is a really fun video to make. If you have any more questions or if you have anything you'd like to see in the future from me, drop a comment below. I look at all of them. So I really have nothing else to say. So I hope you peeps have an amazing day.